To be successful, you must be crystal clear about where you want to go. The idea of the future or desired outcome, that's the goal. You make plans and you commit to achieving the goal. So the first step in the go time formula is to identify the goal or the goals that you want to achieve. So Yogi Berra, I love baseball, he used to say this, he said, if you don't know where you're going, you'll end up someplace else. Well, heck, he's right, isn't he? How many times have you found yourself exactly where you didn't want to be, or worse yet, you've gotten nowhere? So let me ask you this, why are you on this planet? We're going to talk about how to set goals, but before we do, I want you to think about something. I want you to think about what is your purpose in life? What is your mission? Why are you here? Because your purpose, it's the foundation of which everything in life and your business is built. A purpose gives you clarity. It gives you direction to all of your goals. It's really your North Star. And if you do have a personal mission statement, which is your purpose, that needs to be your first and primary goal. Effort and work based on your purpose, it's liberating. It gives you your life meaning and purpose. I've found that most people, they don't even know what they want out of their business, their marriage, their finances, or life in general. Most people just simply, they don't even have a purpose. At one time, I was just like most people. I was busy. I was busy and I wore it like a badge of honor. Somebody would say, hey Chris, how's business? And I'd say, well, it's busy, man. Or they'd say, hey Chris, how's the family? Oh, wow, we're really busy. It doesn't seem like you're always busy, but we're always busy. Busy, 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 busy. But really though, I was spinning my wheels. I had no aim, no intent, and I didn't even really know what I wanted. And for I for sure didn't know I had a purpose. It's like busting your butt to set up a ladder, right? And once you do, you start climbing this ladder like a madman. And then you realize, you know what? I set this thing up and I'm not even on the right building. Who wants to do that? but busy will overwhelm you if you don't have a clear understanding of what you want. And you know what's looking right, and you know what's looming right behind busy? Apathy, and it's worse. Nothing disappoints me more than seeing people with great potential waste it by being apathetic. No goals and no action equals no life and no business. But you know what? My busy changed. Once I put in the effort and I identified my personal mission, it gave me purpose. It gave me meaning. It helped me clarify what I should and what I shouldn't be doing. I was still busy, but I was busy doing meaningful things. My personal mission as a man of faith, it's to gain influence and use it to point people towards Jesus. It gave me clarity. It helped me set out goals, and I was able to accomplish them. The company that I started and ran, the mission there was to keep customers comfortable, save them money, do it better than anyone else, and honor God with our heart for the work. So when I led this team, if we did it right, it helped me accomplish my personal mission. So your business, it's there to serve you. It's a vehicle, right? It's there to help you accomplish your personal mission. And without goals, busy is going nowhere. You will be your main default mission in life just being busy. A really sad thing is busy without a goal, it wastes time, and it stomps out the satisfaction of the growth journey right into the ground. There it went, just being busy. So why are goals great for visualizing the outcome? The true meaning, fulfillment, and joy are found in the new busy, the journey. It's a destination, but we gotta tune into it. You have to understand the why behind your goal. Make sure it ties into your purpose. Keep it visible. Start each day with a quick review. Reflect on it, progress. How did we progress on this goal? Visualize it and capture the feeling of your accomplishment of that goal. How did it make you feel? So let's look at how to set goals. So listen up now, because your goals, they need to be challenging and they need to be meaningful. Goals are meant to be motivating. And you know what puts juice into accomplishing your goals? It's the thrill of putting everything on the line, striving, putting in the effort, and then boom, your results, they exceed your expectations, and guess who can hardly wait to take on the next goal? Me, I'm ready. Align your goals with your purpose. Understand the why behind each one and take action. Not just action, take massive action. And you'll be a force to be reckoned with and it'll truly be go time. So, with your personal mission locked in, it's loaded, let's get back to the go time formula. The G 
was for goals. So we'll start with six important questions to ask yourself when setting goals. Number one, what do I want to accomplish? What's the target? Number two, why do I want to accomplish this? Number three, when do we want to achieve this by? And number four, what will life be like if I accomplish this goal? It's an important one. Number five, what will life be like if I don't accomplish this goal? And number six, who is responsible for taking on this goal? So check it out. Here's a goal setting process we used at our former company, The Hunter Super Techs. Our club memberships, our maintenance agreements, they were treading quicksand. We couldn't make any progress. We were stuck and we were going nowhere fast and we had to do something. So we got to work and we set a massive goal. So our first question, what do I want to accomplish? We wanted to do at least 2,500 club memberships. Number two, why do I want to accomplish this? It was because it provided predictable, reoccurring revenue. It kept five technicians busy year round. That was 10,000 hours of scheduled work and it created additional revenue. It created relationships, we were able to build them and it made a lot of referral opportunities. Nice. So when do I want to achieve this by? We knew we wanted to do it by the year's end. It gave us a very specific timeline and we knew we could build our growth plan to achieve that. So what would life be like if we accomplished that goal? Well, it would keep our Hunter Super Techs working year round. It was a beacon to other techs in the area that we were busy when others were not. So the club memberships, they cover our operating costs during the shoulder months. They provide that reoccurring revenue. It increased our club membership base, which has a much higher lifetime spend than those that aren't a club member. And a high number of a membership base, they're critically important to an owner's exit strategy. And it was to mine as well. So the next question was, what would life be like if I don't accomplish this goal? It was stressful, man. I tell you what, lack of revenue to pay bills, when you're broke, all you can think about is being broke. It's no fun. So lack of revenue growth to fuel our purpose, lack of a system, lack of replacement opportunities, lack of referrals, and the outstanding marketing that comes from customers who aren't incurring breakdowns, it's all serious damage to our recruiting efforts. The possibility of our techs leaving us, and worst of all, if you really care about taking care of your people's families and the lack of work, it's gonna happen if we didn't make this goal of a reality. The bottom line, if we don't fix this, life around here is going to be miserable and it was going to plain suck. But who was responsible for making this happen? It starts with the leader, right? I was him. You're looking at him. It starts with me. And it was up to me to define the goal. Then the leadership team to create the plan, to teach it. And finally, it was up to our team members to execute and follow it out. Spoiler alert, it worked. Not only did we double our club memberships in less than eight months, but we went on to crush that goal. And guess who was motivated again to take on even more? Now, not only me, but our whole team. So let's review, look at it again. Number one, first, define your personal mission, lock in on your North Star and for the journey ahead. Number two, goals set based on your purpose are essential. They keep you focused on what's important. Eliminate the busy work of going nowhere. Get busy on mission critical work and enjoy the journey. Number three, the six important questions you need to ask. Don't forget them. They were, what do I want to accomplish? Why do I want to accomplish this goal? When do we want to achieve this by? What will life be like if I accomplish it? What will life be like if I don't accomplish this goal? And last, who is responsible for taking on this goal? So my goal for you now is to ace this quiz. The G was for goal. It's go time.